Hi, this is Voltage Girl from Social Minds, and today I'm going to actually talk to you guys about how you could use SEO Quake, a free tool which you could download, whether it's for Firefox or Internet Explorer in your business. Now, pretty much if you're not sure where SEO Quake is, I'll show you in a moment um, how you could download this tool, but pretty much if I want to find information on a website, for example, the page rank, or how many pages does Google have indexed, or how many people are linking back to a particular website, I mean, all these things could take a lot of time. It could be time consuming, especially if I'm manually collecting this information and I want to compare it to other websites or competitor websites, what have you. This is where SEO Quake really shines because it allows you to collect this information um, very easily. So for this example, I mean, SEO Quake, it, it will provide you a lot of information, but we just want to take a look at the main things um, that we feel are important when it comes to SEO rankings. So the, the points over here that we've highlighted are page rank and this is a scale from 0 to 10 in which Google provides and 0 being the worst and 10 being the best and it's really determined by the number of quantity and quality links pointing back to your website. Number of index pages, this is important because obviously the more pages you have the, you know, the more credit the search engines give you. So Google's magical mark is around the 100 page so once your site actually hits 100 pages um, you're considered a resource, which is a lot of value um, from a search engine perspective. Number of backlinks, this is the amount of people pointing um, links back to your website. Domain age, so SEO Quick, again, it will pull up this information on any website and it could determine how old that website has been around. And again, from a search engine perspective, this is very important because, you know, they give credibility to people that have been around for a longer period of time. And the last few things is SEO Quick will also tell you if the website has a robot text file and if they also have an XML sitemap, which allows the search engines to easily crawl and understand all the different pages of the website. The last thing you could actually customize SEO Quick to do, especially when we're talking a lot about social media these days, is you could actually find out how many um, links are coming from social sites like Dig or Technorati or StumbleUpon. So I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But basically, here's how you could really format the presentation once you collect this information from SEO Quake to really wow your prospects and your end clients. So here's an example of a website, pencareshopping.com. Based on the information that we got from SEO Quake, we know that Google has 559 index pages in their, in their database for this particular website. They've got a page rank of zero. They've got 125 incoming links pointing back to their website and they've been around, they're a fairly new domain name in 2008, um, they don't have this XML sitemap, they don't have a robots text file, and another big thing is that they've got duplicated and non-optimized tags, which we'll talk about later on in this presentation. So this is really it, what it could look like after you format it, but basically here's the power of this tool. You could compare it to their competitors. For example, BiAmp, Save Lives, and More Medical. These are other websites out there which are competitors of PenCare. And you could see from, if you're comparing head to head, especially if your client says, well, how come my competitor is outranking me or why are they performing better than I am? I mean, he, he, take a look at their website. And we know that their competitors, I mean, they might have a higher page rank, they might have more index pages, they might have a lot more links pointing back to the domain name, they might have bookmarks from social sites that, that, that are helping them out. They might have even been around for a longer period of time, and that's why they're ranking higher. But pretty much, this will really justify how much work you have to do from an SEO perspective to really match your competitors. So let me show you how this tool works. Um, if you go to www.seoquake.com, so I'm already at this website, but if you go to www.seoquake.com, You'll see this screen over here, and on the left-hand side, you'll see the area where you could download this plugin for Firefox, and on the right-hand side, where you could download it for Internet Explorer. Now, let's take a look at how this tool works. So let's just say I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to pick a random website. So I'm just going to type in the term hair salon in Toronto. So pretend this is one of my prospects, and I'll take the number one result over here. So here's, here's a website, and I want to find out, pretend this is my prospect, by the way, and I want to find out more about this website. How are they performing? What page rank? What's, how many pages do they have indexed? 
um, how many links are pointing back to them, and then compare it head to head with some of their competitors. So at the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I've, also, I've already installed the toolbar, I could toggle it on and off, so I'm going to turn it on and you can see it, it will go bright yellow. So now that that's on, let me actually go to that website. What's going to happen is once you go to this website, you're going to see an area on your screen now, a little toolbar from SEO Quick that's going to start collecting information from this website. So right now, I already know this website has a page rank of 4, they've got 160 uh, eight index pages in Google. Um, th this, I mean, th this toolbar will tell you a lot of information. I'm not going to focus on everything, but it shows over here as well when was the last time Google has visited this website, how many links are pointing back to the domain name. So there's 3,450. Um, this website's been around since 1996. They've got one bookmark from Delicious, and they don't have a robots file, but they do have a sitemap. So I mean, I, I could pretty much take this information and go back to my PowerPoint and modify it um, in this area to reflect uh, the, the pro that prospect. Then what I would want to do is let's go back and let's take a look at some of the competitors. So again, I will leave Hair Salon in Toronto as is and just do another search since I've got my toolbar on. And now you're going to notice underneath each search result, you're going to see that same toolbar from SEO Quake appear. So again, we've already done the first one. We've got this information, page rank for 168 index pages, um, 3,450 links. But let's take a look at some of their competitors. Number two has a page rank of two. They've got 150 pages. The third result has a page rank of two, and they only have nine pages. The fourth one has a page rank of three and 17 pages. So I mean, you could really take a screenshot and, and actually compare the top 10 results. And again, this is another way you could also justify how much SEO work that you have to do. So for example, if your client or your prospect goes, I want to be on page one of Google for this specific phrase. What do I have to do to get myself on page one? Well, this tool will easily show you what all their competitors on page one are doing. How much page rank do they have? How many links are pointing back to them? And how much index pages do they have? And all these things are factors in which the search engines determine are in terms of how a web website gets ranked. So pretty much you could take this information and, and customize your PowerPoint slide. So for example, we, w this is the website. So pretend Florio.com was our prospect. I'm going to go over to my um, PowerPoint. I'm going to populate that with Florio. This I would change to Hair Salon Toronto because that was my keyword phrase. And it says page rank three, so I'd go back. Well, it's a page rank four, and I know it's 168 index pages. And I would just go ahead and populate the rest of this category. And the same thing, I would change this to their competitors and fill in this information for their competitors. And you could pretty much take the top listings that you see in the search engines to find out their online competitors. So in a nutshell, that's a quick and easy way you could use SEO Quake. Um, again, this is, it's free to download. Uh, once again, just go to www.seoquake.com. And once you do install this uh, plugin for Firefox or Internet Explorer, let me just show you some of the things you could actually do in here. You could click on Preferences. And you could actually, once you get the hang of this, you could actually customize how much information you want SEO Quick to show. So I'm going to scroll down over here, and you could see I've checked off Delicious, Technorati, Dig, um, and these are so social sites and social bookmarking sites, and I want to find out uh, or how many links are coming back from these specific sites. So I mean, it, it's great for you guys to play around with, get the hang of this tool, it, it's free to use, simple to use. Um, and it could be used very effective when you're walking into a prospect and you, and you want to demonstrate information on their clients and their own website. Well, that completes the tutorial on how you could use SEO Quake. For any more information, please feel free to send us an email at info at socialminds.com. I hope you enjoy this short webinar and, and apply this to your business. Thank you.